A very good morning to you on this Saturday the 11th of July from Cram and Kirk in Edinburgh. Welcome to this day devotion. Let's begin with words from 1 John chapter 4 verse 7 which says this. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Let's turn in love to God now in prayer. Let us pray. God of the rich and God of the poor, God of the east and God of the west, you created us all in your image. Help us now to see you in the world around us, to hear you in your creation, and to see you in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through to 20. And it's a story of the shepherds hearing the good news. In it, we hear how God decided to make a statement about who would receive the good news first. The angel of the Lord was sent to the shepherds. The good news went to the outcasts of society. Those on the very lowest rung of the ladder who were out in the fields rather than to the palaces of the influential people at the top of society's ladder. This message of good news, in the form of a baby, would be for the privileged, but also for those who were not privileged. It started at the bottom and on the margins of life, rather than at the very top and in the middle of the city centre. The shepherd's occupation and their way of life made it unimaginable for them to meet all the ritual requirements to lead a ceremonial, pure life. And so they were not qualified to even enter and worship in the temple. However, the fact that they were chosen by God to be the first to receive the good news helped shape from the start this long-awaited message of hope. This saviour, embodying good news, was meant to include the socially despised, economically depressed and religiously shunned in the world. This news would extend to all people. Nobody gets left out of this joyous news of salvation. And yet if the shepherds had not obeyed, and instead chosen to let their fear be their guide, they wouldn't have fulfilled their mission of being the first evangelists who shared the good news of great joy that was for all people. And yet, they did. And it reminds us that God can and does use all people for his work in his world. So listen anew to the word of God. In that region were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you this day is born in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem, and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured 
all these words and ponder them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Thanks be to God. Let us praise and glorify God now as we turn to him in praise, in prayer. Let us pray. God of all humanity, we give thanks that you see us as we are, not as lowly shepherds, but as individuals of opportunity. Help us to hear your call in our lives today. God of all humanity, we pray today with the UN on this World Population Day. We pray for the staggering toll that COVID-19 has had on all people on all communities, and on all economies everywhere. We pray for the health systems around the world that are struggling to cope. We pray especially for the 47 million women in low and middle income countries who are struggling to access contraception due to lockdown and the fear of what that might bring. We pray too for the rise in gender-based violence around the world due to COVID-19 and the innocent women and children who face the violence. Grant them peace and safety and guide the leaders of the world as they respond. God of all humanity, we pray today for those facing anxiety Anxiety about their job security, anxiety about their health, anxiety about leaving their home. Help them as they make the first steps towards their new future. Guide them as they seek normality. And help us to reach out in friendship today. In the silence we come now with our own prayers for the world and for those known to us. for all these prayers in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me today, and may God bless you this weekend with love, with joy, and with peace. Bye-bye.